Hi everyone, welcome to third Damas tutorial. In first two tutorials, we saw the material which had VCC and FCC structure. And in this tutorial, we are going to see the material with HCP structure, which is magnesium. I'm going to consider this two dimensional RVE of magnesium with 20 grains. You can create this microstructure using the mask, but I'm not going to go into details of that. For that, please see my first tutorial. Link is in the description box below. The mesh size is 64 by 64 and orientation, size, shape for each grain is randomly selected. We are going to apply a uniaxial tension load as shown over here. And to do that, we have to define a component of F dot matrix. I'm going to define F dot 1 1 as 10 raised to minus 3. The total time of simulation will be 50 and total number of increments will be 200, which means each increment is 0 0.25. Frequency is 1, which means after every increment, the mask will save the output. As you know, all crystal structures have some active slip systems and twin systems only along which the deformation will happen. So for HCP structure, usually it is found to have these many slip systems, which are divided into these six categories. And each category again has these many number of slip systems. So in total, HCP crystal structure has 33 slip systems and it will have these many, so in total 24 twin systems. But this is the maximum any HCP crystal can have. Not necessarily all the slip systems and twin systems will be active in that particular material. So for the case of magnesium, it has only two active twin systems, the first one and last one, six and six, 12 ten, twin systems, and it will have only few slip systems out of these, not all of them. We will see which ones are active and which ones are not later. Then this is the phenomenological formulation for HCP structure which is implemented in the mask. I will not go into details of this because as you can see it is kind of complicated. If you want me to go into details of this please let me know in the comment section below and I will make a separate video on this. The only point here to note is it also has twin resistance because magnesium in magnesium we observe twinning and this model I have taken from this paper. So this is the very good reference paper for the mask. I highly recommend you to go through it. And I also took all the magnesium material properties using that paper. Now all these material properties for magnesium, we have to write it in the form of material file which can be used by the mask. So this is the exact snapshot of material file we will use in our example. If you want this material file, you can just send email to me and I will send it to you. You can find my email ID in the about section of this YouTube channel. The important thing to note over here is we have to select hexagonal crystal structure over here. All these are anisotropic elastic constants taken from here. Then CIA ratio is given over here. And then these are the slip systems and twin systems. So you can see in slip systems, we are setting up zero over here and we are setting zero over here, which means these slip systems will not be active. Similarly for twin system, these twin systems will not be active and all other slip and twin systems are active. Again, all these parameters are taken from over here. Then this H0 twin twin is nothing but this value H0 twin twin, slip slip, twin slip, all these values are taken from here. Now what I observed is this paper doesn't give all the necessary material parameters. So whatever material parameters are not given in the paper, I am assuming those values. So these values are kind of assumed. These interaction parameters, these are actually matrices, which gives, which gives the relation between how one slip system is affecting another slip system. Now let's start with the mask. To run any simulation on the mask, you will need these three files. I kept these three files in one directory and I'm accessing that directory using terminal over here. Geometry file consists of the crystal structure, Euler angles, and also the microstructure information. Material file also consists of some of those things. And on addition to that, it also consists the material parameters, which we just saw. And finally, load file consists how we are applying the load. So we are defining F11 as 10 raised to minus 3. And then it will also have total time, number of increments, and how frequent you want to save the output. You can visualize this microstructure in Paraview. For that, you just have to type check geom. All these commands I will give in the description box below. So you can just copy paste from there. Once it is done, a VTR file will get created and you can visualize that file in Paraview. Just change over here to surface and over here microstructure. So this is the microstructure. To submit the job, you have to give this command 
this is the spectral solver which is fft solver then which geometry file the mask should use and then which load file the mask should use and the mask will always look for this material.config file by default you don't have to tell that as of now we are not running it in parallel so it is just one processor is used so it will take some time i'm going to fast forward now and let's come back when simulation is done and our simulation is done you can see 200 out of 200 increments converged so that's a good sign if you refresh over here you will see all the output files and the most important file is dot spectral out before getting any useful data out of it we have to do some post processing first thing is this post processing command so using this we will get stress strain and green orientation at the end of 200th increment then again if you refresh this you will see one folder over here and there will be a text file this text file you can open and you will see all the necessary information this will have nine components of stress nine components of strain then grain orientation everything but to visualize it in a better way what we can do is first go into that folder then create a grid file using this command and once this grid file is there then we can add the data into this grid file. As of now, I am just adding stress and strain. You can add grain orientation as well. And then this file can be opened in Paraview. And then you can see stress and strain distribution over here. To find out other post processing options, you can see my other tutorials. And that's it for this video. If you like this video, please show your support by subscribing to this channel, which will give me motivation to create more educational videos like these. You can also go to channels playlist tab. And here you can see all the videos with similar topics combined together. For example, let's say if you're interested in ANSYS tutorials, you can go to this ANSYS tutorial playlist and see all the videos from this playlist. All the codes and files which I use for these videos are also available for you to directly download from this channel's github profile the link of this profile is given in the description box below if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below and as always thank you for watching